Hello everyone, Princess Megabyte here. I'm going to show you in this video how to set up the BIOS in a Dell Optiplex 755 if you plan to install OS X 10.9 or 10.10. First of all, you've got to go into the boot sequence. Now, as you can see, I've got my USB device first. That's because I've installed 10.10 .10 off a USB stick. If you want to install it from a CD-ROM, then you have to press U on your keyboard to move it up to first position, like so. Uh, I'm going to move mine back down because I've already got 10.10 .10 installed on my sh machine, so it's going to automatically boot from the second option, which is my hard drive. I'm going to get out of that by pressing Enter. And the next setting we want to go down to is Drives. Open that up by pressing Enter, go down to SATA Operation. Make sure it is set to Legacy. I know many guides tell you to um, set your BIOS to AHCI, but don't do that on these machines because they cause kernel panics. As soon as you try to install 10.9 or 10.10, .10, and I add that, no matter if I tried the Tony Mac vanilla method or a distro I would get the same result but I found on a forum if you put it on legacy you won't get any problems so I'm just gonna demonstrate my 10.10 .10 loading up one more thing before I show you 10.10 .10 loading up make sure, sure you go to drives and make sure diskette drive is turned off because that's your floppy drive and you don't really need that on And as you can see, this is my um, Nyrish 10.10 um, .10, and this is the Clover screen. I'm simply going to hit enter and it will begin loading and it looks very much like an iPad or iPhone loading up and I like it very much. As this is an old computer, it might take a while to boot up 10.10. .10. And there you go folks, there is my 10.10 .10 desktop, give it a few seconds to warm up, oops, I don't know why that keeps popping up, what if I go to about this Mac, and this, this is, this monitor is not a very high resolu resolution, that's why it doesn't look um, as pretty as it would on my other monitor, which is behind me, which is a Dell Sharp. And this is a lot bigger. Uh, yeah, I've got 10.10.1 .10 installed, and the processor is a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo and 4 gigabytes of RAM. I don't, um, I don't think it's 800 megahertz, so I think it's 667 megahertz. So I don't know why you're saying that. And we have a Nvidia GeForce 210 low profile graphic card in there because it is a small case, it's one of those small form factors, I believe. And it's a um, one gigabyte graphic card. But there you go, folks. I hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. Over and out.